If you've been using Excel or Google Sheets for some time, you're probably familiar with HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. They're great functions uh, that can help you find data in one sheet and output it in another sheet. It works great, except for one major problem. In today's episode, we're going to go over XLOOKUP, which you can use in place of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Let's get started. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. We've all been there before, where you're doing a VLOOKUP from one sheet to another, and the search key is not where it needs to be for the VLOOKUP function. For instance, this ID number. If we wanted to look up this ID number and return first name, last name, we wouldn't be able to do that with the VLOOKUP function because the item that you're searching, the ID number, has to be before uh, the results that you want to return. Now, like you see, I, I could very simply move that to the first column and do my VLOOKUP and it would work. But maybe there's a situation where you wouldn't want to move that ID number. Maybe it would break other things or it just doesn't make sense for it to be there. So I'm going to show you how you can use XLOOKUP to still perform the search and output the results. So let's get started. So let's go to our ID sheet, okay? And we can see we have the ID numbers here, okay? And let's go ahead and type in equals XLOOKUP, okay? We see that auto completes. Search key. So where do we want, or what do we want to search? So in this particular case, I want to search that, okay? Next step, where do I want to look up the data? Okay, so I'm going to go back to scores here and I'm going to say from here to here okay and um, let's uh, let's remove the nine that we will just say from h2 to h that way it goes down uh, to infinity okay and we'll put a, a dollar sign in front of that too so as we drag our uh, formula down that that will not move okay and next the result range so what do we want to return okay so let's say in this case we want to return uh, first name and last name, okay? So we can just select, we can even select multiple columns, okay? And you see it put A2 to B12 here. That uh, looks good. Let's put a dollar sign in front of that too. Um, that way that doesn't move when we're dragging down the formula and we'll get rid of the 12. That way, again, it goes down uh, forever, okay? Let's see what uh, the next item is. If we could always bring that help back by clicking on this question mark here. Okay, missing value. What do you do if uh, if there's no match? By default, uh, we can see uh, here um, it says an error is returned, which for us uh, that that might be okay. But if you're presenting this data to someone else, uh, they might think there's something wrong. So what we could do instead is specify, let's say, no match. Okay, you could really put anything you'd like in there. Okay, match mode, how do we want to uh, match? Um, we are going to do zero, and the reason why we're going to do zero is we only want exact matches. Uh, there are a lot of other uh, options that you can read about there, but for this example, we're going to put zero. Search mode, uh, how do we want to search for it? Again, many, many options uh, there, uh, but we're going to just specify one, say search for these ID numbers from top to bottom. Okay. And we're going to close the parentheses. Okay. We can see that um, it did indeed find John Smith. Let's go ahead and drag that formula down. Okay. It's specified uh, everything uh, as it should. It did also specify no match for 106, 107. Um, the order really doesn't matter. We can say 101 here, 109 here, 102 here. Um, it all, uh, all works as it should. I hope you found that tip valuable. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Um, or if you have suggestions for other uh, topics that you'd like covered, I'd gladly cover it in a future episode. Thank you and have a great day.